All right, let's have a look at this question. The question says a rectangular sheaf of cardboard measuring 16 cm by 10 cm is to be formed into an open rectangular box by cutting out identical square from each corner and folding out the sides. So what size must be the square for the box to have the maximum volume? So what this question want to do is, act, is actually want to cut out um, the square here. So I do not know what is the size of the square. I'm going to call it as x here. x times x. So, I, so basically I need to cut this one out from each of the corner. So on the other corner, I will do the same thing. x times x. I will cut it out. And then here I will cut out x and x also. And then here I will cut out the x times x. Okay, so after I cut out all the x multiplies, because the question do tell you it's an identical square. So yeah, x times x is the identical square here. So I will form a um, cuboid look like this. So we have something like this. After I fold it up, and then this cuboid is like uh, the operands, the top part. So basically the top part doesn't have any area here. So just imagine we have some cuboid like this. And then you just imagine after I fold it up, right? So my height of the box is basically is x. Correct or not? Because after I fold it, the height here is the x. So you should be able to see this one is the height, isn't it? Alright, then I need to know my length and width here. So 16 centimeter, if I minus 1x and minus 1x, here should be uh, the length of here should be 16 minus 2x. Same idea like my width here, just now it's 10 centimeter. If I minus 1x and minus one more x, the width here should be 10 minus 2x. All right, so, so I have this cuboid, so I can find the volume for this cuboid. Just doing something like volume will equals to the length time width time height. So which is 16 minus 2x multiply with uh, 10 minus 2x and then multiply with the x here. All right, then I will just expand this one because later I know I need to differentiate, so it's better I expand it. So this one will give me a 160, and then this one is minus uh, 32x, and then this one is minus 20x, and then plus 4x squared, and then the whole thing need to multiply the x again. So I will prefer to put my x cubed at first, so it's 4x cubed after I solve this one. Then this one is negative uh, 52x, multiply x again, negative 52x squared. So I solve both of these terms, then plus 160x. All right, this one is the equation of my uh, volume of the cuboid here. All right, so what I, uh, I want to do now is, because I want to find, um, my objective right now is to find the size of the square area. And then the question would tell me one very important information is, the volume will be the maximum. So if the volume will be maximum means the dv dx will equals zero. Will equals zero. Then I just differentiate this one. Then I get 12x squared minus 104x and then plus 160 equals to zero. Okay, I will make the number become smaller by divide everything by four here. So this one will give me 3x squared. This one divide four will give me negative 26x and this one divide 4 will give me 40 equals to 0 and then we'll just factorize this one uh, normally so this one is 3x and x and then this one should be um, in order to get 26 and then here should be 20 and 2 all right and then minus for both all right so here will tell me um, my x is equals to 20 over 3. This one x is equals to 2. All right, so over here, you need to choose one of the answer uh, into it. So if you type in your calculator, 20 over 3 is basically is 6 point something. But we have one of the length is like 10 minus 2x. So it's impossible the length of the uh, x is 6 because 10 minus double of 6, I get negative length here. So this is the reason why I reject my first answer. So I only accept this answer when x equals to two. But what is the question one? They want the size, um, the square for the box. So basically the size, I would say therefore the size of square is two by two. 